All right, folks, we continue here on Smiler. Shane Bryant is the founder and program manager for Shane Bryant Fitness, and he's written two e-books, Christmas Burn-Off. One focuses on what you eat and the other on exercise. Morning, friend. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Thank you for having me. And you did these two books I did over, this, over this, this Christmas period, yeah. Um, pretty much we conceptualized the, the whole idea in the end of November, and it took us about three weeks between, you know, pre-production writing, um, photo shoot, and, and editing to basically get that, it ready for market. Quickie thing. Quickie thing, but always <laughs> a late night start. Late for, night. Let me go back to the start. Your first degree is in geology and geography. Correct. What geography have to do with fitness and a healthy lifestyle and stuff? All right, so, so basically speaking, you know, when you think about geography, it is more than just the study of mountains and hills. It's pretty much the study of all aspects of life, what we do in a given space. Um, so health-related activities um, as regards to agricultural activities, as regards to movement patterns, migration, all of this encapsulates okay. and comes underneath geography. Okay. So my scope now, it, it pretty much makes me really equipped to understand everything that happens within the public sphere. And once it's a case that you are living within a particular location, you know, if it is health-related movements, if it is pretty much your economic attitude, etc., it makes it easier for me to understand. Okay. As a trainer, and it's not a word that I use um, at all, but you were more holistic Correct. than just we'll do some skipping. And exactly. And I said the, the, the background, the geography, geology, and then you know, being certified with American Council of Exercise, junior master in Kung Fu kickboxing, my, my, my background is extremely broad. So I consider myself as a hybrid professional, one who pretty much not just looks at a given situation as it is, but tries to think about some hidden factors that probably typical professionals aren't necessarily looking at. If you're not going to be living a lifestyle that is requiring you to say, for example, um, eat a particular way. It is more than just saying, okay, here go on now, come and give us some, some cabbage and, and some, some tomatoes and say, eat it. You probably will say that you won't be able to eat it because of economic factors. You won't be able to eat it because of cultural factors. Your family don't cook it because your family love the, the big yam and the dashin, etc., etc. So when I pretty much, through my assessments, understand the cultural, the, the, the economics. Then the you could that. tweak my program to suit what I can't do. Exactly, and it makes it much more, makes it much more worthwhile and understanding because then you know, it makes it easier for me to actually go into your world and provide solutions that is actually fixed to you. And, and you could world. work on anything? In other words, I don't necessarily want to lose weight, but I feel like I get a little thing, you know, exactly. so you could work on that. Exactly. As you, as you age, then basically, naturally speaking, you know, your testosterone levels drop. And with that being said and done, your, your capacity to, to build and sustain muscle will also reduce. So having said that, you know just in the but you will need more strength training. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the, 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 the first one. Mm -hmm. Eat the foods you love, lose inches this Christmas, the Jamaican edition. Tell me about that. All right. So this book is really a culturally um, inclined book. Jamaica, especially our Jamaicans in the Christmas season is a, is a time where we tend to, you know, overindulge. Especially in the, the pork, in the, in the, in with the goat, everything, with in everything. the rice the and peas, etc. Yeah, man. So, what this book does is that basically it gives you an outline as to how the, each of these foods they stay in terms of the nutritional component. And um, from, from a perspective of your age group and, and your gender, um, generally speaking, it gives you an outline as to how your portion should be. And I said it's culturally, it's culturally inclined. So, it's not necessarily a case where we're giving you solutions that, 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 that is not something that you're going to be eating during the Christmas period. It's pretty much a revolves around all the Christmas foods that we eat. And it's not a one size fit all? No, 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 not at all. So all. it's specific to like the age me, groups, look a bit age slimmer and look a yes, bit older as yes. opposed to somebody who maybe yes. have a little bit more weight and a little younger. Exactly, exactly. Um, whew. The Exercise and Physical Activity Guide to Losing Inches, Jamaican edition. Right. That's different than the one before. What's different about When it's different that? than the one before, they're talking about the, 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 the eating book. Yeah. Yes. So the, this basically comes as a complement to the eating book because at the end of the day, you know, eating book is basically trying to assist you with restricting or cutting back on your, 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 your macronutrient intake. But the eating book doesn't suggest that you have to go do some exercise to it. It suggests it, but it doesn't give you the guideline as to how you're so supposed to exercise. So the exercise book deal with the food part too? It basically gives you some degree of an insight as to how the food So I need the two you. books? Exactly. I need the two books. That's why I say go hand in hand. It go hand in hand. Some ah. persons will look at them and say, boy, they just want to eat in fact. They just want to know how to eat. Yes, you can basically work on that. But in truth and fact, no, in any form or regimen whatsoever, 
it is advised that to get the best benefit, you combine nutrition with exercise. But again, it has to be specific. Exactly. The, um, I don't think I necessarily have an issue, mm -hmm. but in my family, cholesterol mm -hmm. is an issue, ah. and it scares me. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it, I, I suspect it, you have to be a little bit specific to me exactly. as opposed to maybe. So, so let, me, let me just highlight this now. The exercise and physical activity book, the difference between the two is that physical activity is not necessarily structured, it's not necessarily working towards a particular outcome. But when you're increasing the amount of energy you're, you're expending at your home through the washing of dishes, through the washing of, through the washing of your clothes, raking of your yard, etc., collectively, in a given day throughout the week, you're losing, you're losing, using up calories. And when you then now combine it with workouts that is actually specific to your, your, your fitness level, specific to what you can manage. If you have giant pains, we basically have what we call yeah, beginner's man. workouts, yeah, and we have intermediate workouts for you, and we give a, guide, a guideline or outline as to how to do it. Sounds quite scientific, actually. Yeah, man, it's extremely, extremely Where can scientific. we get the books? You can get the book on our website, which is www.joinobfitness.com. Um, if it's a case that you want more information, you can contact me at 506-4538. We're on Instagram at Oshane Brand Fitness, and um, Facebook at Oshane Brand Fitness page. And where are your classes? The, we have locations up here, Les Robinson Hall, and we also have um, training sessions at, at um, Emancipation Park, Brayton Hill, and then now we're moving towards trying to become much more digital, so having live video streams on our website and, and Skype training as well. So on that website, I'll, be, I'll find out what time you have your classes. And yes, yes, because we're currently basically doing all the structure. I have to the register and stuff where I can just watch. No, you have to see. register basically, because especially going to next year, you now what we're doing is that we're having a calendar for the year. And then now when you go on the website, you will select, all right, here we're going to, we want to train in January. So January okay. period, we start okay. January 3rd. So you do have to register. You, you have to register walk in, I'd Yes. Say. And we have to do an assessment with you first. Okay. You can come to folks or they have to come to you? It's, it, we have different models. It, yeah, also. I'm a person, but, but, but as I said, the business model, we have different business models, different structures. So we have group personal training. Um, but for one-on-one -on -one personal training, that is separate. Okay. So individuals can contact me, but I have a team where they basically can come. So and you team. can come to. I can to come. Right. Yes. All right. Fantastic. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All the very best. Thank you very it much. Sounds. It sounds interesting. And yeah, man. The cost. The cost for it is the sale price is currently still on sale for two thousand six hundred, and um, all persons. Just bear in mind that, that, I mean, this is not something that is just specific to before Christmas. This is yeah, something that can be utilized right, right through, throughout the right year. Right Fantastic. Right. And we need that. Fantastic. Yeah, man. He's the author of the Christmas Burn-Off e-book, Shane Bryant.